Hi, I'm Zach, and on today's video we're going to learn about mechanical pencils. We're going to tear one apart and learn exactly what's inside. There are a few pretty simple but kind of interesting parts, so let's dig in and learn more. We have here a run-of-the-mill number two Bic pencil that takes half millimeter lead. You can press the plunger and it'll feed lead out. We can press the plunger and hold it in and the lead, we, that lets us push the lead right back in. As we press the plunger, we can see a couple things going on behind the clear nose cone. So let's take it apart and see what's going on there. This nose cone is held on by just a friction fit. If I'm careful about it, I can take it off and not break the lead. There we go. So the nose cone, as you can see, has a hole in the center of it, just big enough to allow lead to pass through, but it still holds a, a real light grip on the lead. Inside here, we have a couple things going on. We have a green stem, there we go, that the lead passes through. You can see a gap in there. This green stem is actually a clamshell that is opened and closed by this black collar. Whenever we press the plunger forward, the green stem extends forward, and the black collar goes most of the way with it, but then near the very end, there's a ridge on the inside of this nose cone that catches the black collar and keeps it and holds it back from the green stem, back in frame there, and releases its grip and allows the lead to move forward, advance just a little bit. You let go, it gets another grip, moves the lead forward again, and you can repeat that process until, well, until you have as much lead as you want. I'm going to start by taking apart, or rather cutting off, this green stem. So I'm just going to take a sharp utility knife and can we zoom in there and see kind of roughly what's going on. Maybe I can cut it off right here. I'm just going to, whoop, there we go. So now we have our green stem. We kind of lay everything out here so maybe we can see what's going on. Black collar, green clamshell stem with a hole in the middle that allows the lead to pass through. I cut it off of the inner barrel. Is that going on there? Now we have our main body and now that the green stem and collar are cut off that allows us to remove the inner barrel. Here we have all of our pieces laid out. The outer barrel is the whole uh, is the same size the whole way down until you get to the very very end at which point it just narrows in. So we have our inner plunger that holds the lead, and on the tip of that, bring this in closer on the tip of that, we have a spring. We'll insert that into the outer barrel. So that flat part on the end of the barrel allows something for the spring to rest against, and on the inside and then on the outside allows a place for that collar to seat against. Here I have the whole system put together with a cutaway of the inner barrel and this is where you can hold several pieces of lead. So to recap how it all works, you put your lead, you pop your eraser off, put your lead in this inner barrel, pop your eraser back on. When you want to dispense lead, you press on the eraser, which presses this whole inner barrel, and I'm calling that a plunger. Press that in, and the spring is on the inside of the tube, and this black collar is on the outside of this tube. And that action when you press on the plunger, allows the green stem to release its grip on the lead and allow the lead to advance forward. And that's how a mechanical pencil works. If you want to learn more about the mechanical and electrical world around you, hit subscribe and tap the bell to be notified every time we upload. We'll see you next time.